You know, I think the further north you get in the UK, the, the more passionate they are about, about football. You kind of understand that it, they don't come here to, to watch a game of football and support their club. Their week, their year is built around Celtics fixtures, their, their games, and, and their mood is dictated by how the club goes. And you want to make them happy because the alternative is that if the team doesn't do well, they're going to be miserable all week and you've, you've been directly responsible for it. So Ange, it's fantastic to be here. We're sitting in the sunshine in the Highlands. We're at the Celtic Lennox Town facility. I didn't think I'd be sitting here in the sunshine with it's you. It's not mate. always like this, uh, Bridget. <laughs> let me uh, let me tell you, mate. Uh, You've got a unique style. Now I mean that in the nicest possible way. I'm a big fan of the style of football that you play. How do you look to improve on that year in year? I've always been intent in, in in building teams that supporters love to watch. That 99% of footballers want to play. We start off as seven, eight, nine year old playing in the street with the ball on, at our feet and we loved having the ball, we loved scoring goals, we loved even the tackling side of it, we just loved action, we loved, we weren't worried about tactics or results, we just wanted to play the game and I've tried to come up with a system that replicates that, knowing that I'm going to be judged ultimately by winning games of football and I love winning. I think it's important, especially for this football club, if you look at its history, its most successful eras and the most memorable eras are when the club has had sides that played football that excites the fans. So. When I came here, I thought well, I was a good fit. Now, you're coming up against some of the biggest names in world football as coaches, yourself included, Champions League football. How have you find the battle so far, tactically? Yeah, I loved it. Challenging. Um, yeah, I really loved it, Bridgie. I mean, it's Champions League football is, is the pinnacle of, of club football, and you know that it's rarefied air that only the best can sort of experience. And so to be amongst those ranks and be able to to test myself and more importantly get this football club back to that level where it's playing Champions League football every year and making an impact and um, and, and testing yourself against the best. I'm here in the atmosphere at Celtic Park and European Nights on a different level. I'm going to come to a game but just give us an insight as to what I'm what I'm expecting. Yeah, no, look, I, I, whatever I say is going to undersell it. You know, I can tell you it's going to be the best experience and, and it will because it is quite extraordinary. Um, you know, this football club is known for its European Nights. Um, you walked in, in, in our sort of training facility and, and the first thing you, you notice is the big European Cup there, it's a club that's won one. That's very much ingrained into every person who follows this football club and they release that on, on Champions League nights. You said before you like to give coaches opportunities, you love to take people on your wing and mentor them. So obviously you brought in an Australian this season, one of my old colleagues, Harry Keel. I'm a big believer in opportunity because I know how limited it is in Australia and, and I saw so many people who I thought deserved an opportunity and never get one. And, I fell into that bracket, you know, after the, the sort of the Australian youth team where I had sort of you know, 12 months where I really literally could not get, even though I'd had so much experience already, I'd won championships, seven years national team boss, I couldn't even get an assistant coach's role in the A-League and, I, and I, I just didn't feel that was right. You know, I knew eventually I would break through and I'd get my opportunity, I knew to be successful. So when I did, I, I wanted to make sure that I opened as many doors for coaches as possible. I've tried to do that along the way. You know, all I do is open the door and to their credit, you know, so many of them are doing so well, which I'm, I'm just as proud of that as I am, you know, everything I'm doing in terms of coaching. And he's been great, you know, he's, he's bought exactly what I, I thought he would in terms of his energy. He's, he's really, you know, ambitious. He's, he's not shy about saying what he's ambitious about. He's still close enough to this generation of players. I'm far removed that, you know, I think they have that respect for what he's achieved as a player, but now he's sort of proven himself as a coach. Well, he must be doing something right because I've seen him smiling. <laughs> I used to call him the grump. He was a nightmare, so they're doing something right. He's got a smile on his face. It's good to see. So moving on, well, not only just in Celtic Football Club, but in the, the Scottish leagues as well. I've got to say there's 14 Aussies at the moment playing. It's starting to become a good pathway for European football, isn't it, for them? It's great to see. I think it is a good pathway. You're right. I think, you know, you know when players have dreams of getting to, to sort of the the higher echelons of, 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 of sort of European football, they sometimes miss a step and the next step is really important. And there's been plenty of examples of guys who've taken that step, whether that sometimes that's been through Belgium or Holland and then got themselves. And I think Scotland's a good base for that because the league's very competitive every week. If you are in the spotlight, you're, you're next door to the, the biggest league in the world. Um, I think the more success players have here and hopefully from here, one of them then goes to a bigger league and then that kind of opens up that sort of pathway. Well, Ange, thank you very much. I wish you all the best for the rest of the season, domestically and in Europe, and hopefully I'm cheering on a few goals when I come to watch this. Brilliant, Bridgie. Thanks, mate. All the best. Cheers, man. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.